Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to show you is one of the application that I tried to develop uh, for my students. Actually, uh, this is a scheduling system. Okay. Now, this is one of the problems of those who are trying to do the uh, scheduling uh, in a school or in a colleges, okay? So this is a big task for the one who is preparing the schedule for a certain or for all the courses in a school, okay? Now, uh, actually, it will be easy for that uh, scheduler if he has or she has an application that can help them to schedule properly because the problems here you might encounter conflicts okay in room assignment and instructor assignment okay now i'm just trying to develop this just to give you an idea like if you are a, a computer engineering student or computer science student okay now i try to develop this using visual basic okay now actually this is a visual basic with a uh, database okay now, I think I, I used here access database. Okay. Now, just to give you an idea uh, all about this uh, application, let me walk you through. Okay. Now, again, you can uh, put your comments. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you how this system works. Then, if I will get around 100 comments asking for me to do the tutorial for this, the step-by-step -step tutorial for this, then I will do. I will try to do it. I will try to, what you call this one, uh, allocate some time for doing the step-by-step -step tutorial, okay? So without further ado, let me show you how this uh, scheduling system works, okay? Now here, I have here my main menu, okay? Now actually, I try to develop this for Cut College, okay? So Cut College scheduling system. So I have here my file menu here, okay? So I have schedule, utilities, backup database, exit, room, add, edit, find, delete, okay? Okay, then instructors, subjects, then schedule. Now, actually, uh, there are more uh, modules in this uh, application. Okay? Of course, first you need to um, add the rooms in the database, okay? Let me see if this one is ready. Okay, that this one's room information, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then you can add it. Then instructors, okay. Of course, you can add the instructors, okay. Then the subjects, okay. You need also to add the subjects in the database, okay. So beforehand, I already did some uh, database uh, or some records already in my database, okay. Now schedule. Now let's start with the scheduling. Okay? So I have a main scheduling form here. Okay? So this is my main scheduling form. Shout out to those uh, engineer, uh, BSCPE, BSIT, and other uh, computer related course. You can put your comments if you want me to do the step by step tutorial for this application. Of course, you can use this as a pattern if you are doing some thesis or if there's undergraduate thesis or some uh, projects requirement before you will be able to graduate in your selected course in, in, uh, in computer related courses, okay? Now, let me start, okay? So I have here the home. What is the home? Okay, so this is the home, okay? Scheduling form, let me go back there, okay? Now, first, let me share this one. Okay. I'm not sure if you are seeing my window. Okay, so let me share this to make sure you are seeing my window. Okay, so home, load subjects, then I have here some buttons. Then I have a dra uh, com combo box here. Okay, then, okay, uh, I have noticed there are some missing... Uh, uh, actually, do I need to really put here the school year? Maybe. Okay, then major. So there are already some items in the major. Okay. Now, 
uh, block. Okay, so there will be some blocks. Okay, this is part of scheduling. Then load subjects. Okay, I have load subjects here and load subjects here. That, that's just the same thing. Let's see what is about developed by standards of Leon Junior. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now let's start with the course. Now let's see this school is offering BSE. So let's see the BSE. Okay, so first year. So let's say it is first semester. Then you are going to schedule the subjects for BSEE, first semester for first year students, okay? Now, we don't have major in BSEE, okay? Now, the block will be if you have several uh, blocks for first year, okay? So this will be the uh, block, okay? Now, I'm ready to load the subject. So what are the subjects for BSE student or first year student. So I will load the subject. Now, uh, okay, let me load the subject. Why it's not working? Okay, now it's there. Now, actually, guys, uh, from the database, I'm trying to get the subject for first year, okay? First semester. So as you can see here, now these are the subject for BSE first year. I have here the uh, subject code okay for calculus i already have here uh, calculus one that is laboratory zero then lecture unit three so for first year there will be six units for laboratory and then the laboratory then 28 units for uh, lecture okay so there will be so what are the subject calculus chemistry for engineering computer aided drafting mathematics for the modern world understanding the self information technology the contemporary world reading in philippine history physical education and sdp one of course guys these uh, subjects are uh, always uh, can be uh, subject to change okay based on the curriculum they can update the curriculum, okay? Then, uh, okay, for the next here, I have here the time, days, room, instructor, then combine the schedule. Now, there, there will be a time wherein you need to combine the schedule, okay? So I have here the load schedule here. If there is already, let's say, the guy who is scheduling the subjects or the subjects, okay, for a specific room and instructor, now, maybe he was, we was not able to finish it, then he can always come back. Okay, now here we can load the schedule. Let's see if there's any schedule here. Okay, okay. So, meaning uh, I have here several, several rows which corresponds to the subject. So, I have here ten, number of rows, 10. So, it, uh, it, it means that there will be 10 subjects here. Okay. Now, uh, when I click the load schedule, meaning this guy already scheduled the subject calculus. So the time is 1 to 2.30. Then you cannot uh, change this one because it's already uh, scheduled. So MW, the day's MW, the room is 2.02. Then the guy who's going to handle the subject is engineer Belliante. Okay. Now let's see if this scheduling will be able to uh, trap some of the errors. The common errors is when this instructor will be uh, handling another subject in this time, 1 to 2.30, and at the same day, okay? So there will be several conflicts, okay? When you are doing the schedule, maybe this room is already allocated to a certain subject, then again, you will allocate it to another subject with the same days and with the same time. That is conflict, okay? So there are so many source of conflicts here. Now, I will just show you, let's say chemistry. So this chemistry, okay? So this chemistry for engineers, okay? Now let's see, I will try to schedule it the same time, then the same day, then the same room, okay? The same room, that is 202, okay? Then the same instructor, okay? So I will try to, this is the one that we we'll try to add the schedule in our database, okay? So I will try to add it, oh, schedule conflict. So there's a schedule conflict there. So 
it will not be allowed. Okay. Okay. So, all calculus 1, 2, 13, the brilliant. So, it is already uh, that uh, schedule is already assigned to a guy. Engineering brilliant. Okay. Now, let me change it. So, I will change it to maybe engineer capilla. Okay. So, we will see if it will be trapped again. Okay. Schedule complete. The same thing. Okay. Okay. So, I cannot. Okay. 202. 202. Okay. Now, let's change the room. We will see how my uh, application will trap this uh, source of errors. Okay. Okay. Now, what happened here is... Uh, of course, uh, there will be room, so will be added to schedule. Is there a conflict here? No, because one to two thirty, this subject will be uh, the same day MW, but it is different room and different instructor, so it will be uh, will be added there. Okay. Okay. So again, we will try to. Uh, let's say this, uh, let's schedule this one. Now, uh, we will try to schedule this to Mr. Capilla. Okay? Even though, let's say, okay, the same time, we will do it. Then, they, okay, the same day, then we will schedule it in different room. Let's say 101. Then, the instructor is Engineer Capilla. Okay, that's me. Then I will say yes. I will say, oh, it's there will be a conflict. Why? Because I already have uh, a subject for one to two thirty, the same day. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, Mister Abareta. So there is also some uh, conflict there. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, you will be seeing some information there because. I already use this. Uh, I'm trying to use this application so that I will be able to see some of the bugs. Okay. Now let's say, uh, okay, so there is a conflict there. Okay. Because uh, 101, because the, of this instructor. Okay. So let's see. I will say, Engineer Chua, you handle this. Schedule conflicts. Why? Uh, 1, 2, 2, 30, 101. Okay. Now, the conflict is somebody is going to use the room the same time. So, this is the conflict. As you can see it here. Okay. So, I will change the room. Maybe I will say 101. Okay. Again, there will be a conflict. Uh, uh, Mr. Alvarado is already occupying the same room. Okay. Now, let's see 202. Schedule conflict again. I think somebody is uh, Junior Brilliante to auto. Okay, of course, he's using it at the same time. Oh, see, as you can see, the application is trying to uh, trying to trap some errors. Okay, now, uh, okay, so let me see if I have room schedule here 202. So 202, let's see what will be the okay, calculus 130. Okay, I want to 30. Okay, brilliant. Now, the problem here, because it's the same room, the same time. I think that is the, the same time. Now, let's change the time. Okay, so it should not, it should not. Uh, okay, so let's say that is 2.30. So, 2.30 to 4. Okay, let's see. Oh, we'll be added to schedule. Now, guys, actually, uh, this is a very... Uh, complicated uh, task when you are doing the scheduling. Okay? So it's really need the scheduler an automated or a computerized system wherein it will help him to uh, finish the scheduling of all the subjects for BSE first year. Imagine you have, you have to schedule also second year you have to schedule also third year and fourth year 
So ima you can imagine the task that the scheduler will try to do. Okay. So guys, uh, this is just an introduction. As I said, uh, if you really want me to what you call this one, do a step by step tutorial here. I'm looking for 100 comments for all the 100 viewers. First 100 viewers. Okay. So because I don't want to waste my time doing this if nobody is interested. Okay. So again, this is your. Uh, host Santos Capellan Jr. always wishing you a good day and of course before I will end this tutorial let me say God bless us all let's all be safe and bye for now